G'day, it's Jay, and welcome back to um, Silver Run Forest. This time we're not doing a Let's Play episode, we're actually doing uh, another analysis episode. And we're going to take a look at the boatyard and how profitable it is to either A, own the boatyard, or B, just supply the boatyard and let it do its own thing. Now, if you have been watching my Timber Kings episode, or episodes, which I recommend you do, purely for selfish reasons. But still, um, you'll know that we made a boatload of cash, excuse the pun, by supplying the boatyard with supplies before we actually purchased it. We only purchased it, oh, I believe it was around the time when it was getting ready to move out of the boat shed and onto the loading ramp or well the launch ramp whatever you want to call it onto this part here and then at that point we purchased it and we supplied the fabric blah 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 boat launched we made three hundred thousand dollars Call it double dipping if you want, but that's what I did. Yeah, of course, you can only do that once because once you've purchased the boat yard, it is yours just like any other production point forever. So what I want to know, like I said, is we made $300,000 from selling the boat. If we had just supplied all the materials, and I wish I had kept track of it, would we have made around $300,000 or would we have made more? Now it's time for a shameless plug in the Christmas spirit. As a Christmas present to me, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. That way you are notified whenever I do another information sharing video like this and we take an in-depth look at how the mechanics of farming simulator work and whether it's more profitable to do something one way or another okay having said that let's take a look very quickly because i know what you're going to say you're going to say jay prices fluctuate seasonally and yes they do but with the exception of the base game products i.e. planks which used to be called boards and they fluctuate ooh, four, five, six, seven hundred dollars and fabric which fluctuates a little bit more see fab fabric actually fluctuates the most but you don't need that that much fabric so it's not going to be the make or break it point. The rest of the products really do not fluctuate very much at all. Like floor tiles, $300. Planks long, $100. Uh, wood beams, $400. So just that's just to give you a point, a rough reference point. And, you know, that's from one extreme to another. Um, just because you have those extremes in prices doesn't mean that it's always going to be that extreme to the next. Uh, sometimes you might only have a two or three, you know, one year you might have a $400 price fluctuation. Another year you might have a $250 price fluctuation. So, bear that in mind when all is said and done. So now let's flip over to my test map. All right, here we are on the test map. And as you can see, it's a cold autumn morning, cold, misty autumn morning in Silver Run Forest. And by the wrench icon, we do not own the boatyard this time. 
I played through a month just to make sure there was nothing that was going to give me a surprise and take away money or add money that maybe there was some mysterious thing that anyway I just wanted to make sure that the hundred thousand we start with stays as the hundred thousand and it does there's nothing adding or subtracting money so what I've done is I've cheated in all the supplies that we need for the first stage of the boatyard. And we're going to sell all those to the boatyard. And then once those are sold, we're going to play through. I'll speed through time as quickly as possible until we get to the next stage. And then we'll sell those. I'm not going to do anything else in between. Whatever money goes up from that $100,000, and remember, so when we get our final total, we have to deduct $100,000. Actually, you know what? I'm going to deduct $100,000 right now. There we go. We are at zero. So whatever money we end up with is what we make from selling the material to the boatyard. And I need to enable super strength. Otherwise, this is going to take forever. And we will slowly pull. Well, that's not. We'll do it one at a time. I'll. I will do it one at a time. I prefer the lumberjack mod super strength. To tell you the truth. Not that I understand why there's a difference. It just seems one's easier to use than the other. Come on. Back you come. All right. I'll bring you guys in when everything's been sold. Now, while I'm doing this, um, I will just mention that the viewer that asked me to do this video... also wanted to know whether it was more profitable to sell products to Elm Creek by the train and if he would make more money taking all this product that we're putting in here and he would make more money selling it to Elm Creek on the train and absolutely the answer is yes you will always make more money selling to Elm Creek on the train just because of the train multiplier it's the same on the base game maps for the most part uh, eight times out of ten the train has a multiplier of I think it's 1.3 whereas most things range otherwise between 1.1 and 1.2 which is why metal fetch is eight thousand dollars on average in town here in Silver Run Forest but it fetches just over ten thousand on the train okay so that's everything we should be if we look at that little board um, yep we should have everything we need to proceed to the next stage and we made 202,000 that's just selling in September that's not selling necessarily in the optimal months so again some products are going to be a little bit higher some are going to be a little bit lower I'm going to speed ahead and wait till the boatyard is done or ready to go to the next stage I should say. All right here we are in December so three months is what it takes to get to the out of the first stage. We need 3,600 liters of fabric. So we'll put four in there. And 
and we're short by oh look at that we have wood beams 239 required and 237 in storage so we are off by one two wood beams two two liters of wood beams so I'm gonna have to put in one extra pallet of wood beams all to get I wonder if I can do it quickly enough. Eighteen twenty. So there we go, two hundred and thirty eight thousand. $240,000 is what we made by selling the products ourselves. That's enough to get the boaty floaty go. That'll get the boat done. Alrighty, like I said, um, January cold frosty morning and the boat launches in two hours and 23 minutes and we have i'm going to say very minimal amount of materials left if you round up i'm gonna to have to check because i believe may june july are the best times for some of the materials we used if that's the case let's round up and say we made an extra ten thousand to twelve thousand dollars which is quite feasible so let's round that up and say two hundred and fifty thousand dollars two hundred and fifty thousand dollars versus three hundred thousand dollars for selling the boat if we own the boatyard, the boatyard, I believe, well, well, let's speed time up a little bit to see what happens when it launches. I don't think we're going to get paid. And I'm not going to actually buy it. So, no, okay, 125. So you would need to produce 2.5 boats to pay for the boatyard overselling the materials yourself. So, yeah, it's definitely, it's not a huge, I mean, it's not a massive amount. I thought it would be more than that, actually. Um, so by doing what I did in my Let's Play, by selling the materials, all the way up to the point where it required fabric and the wood beams and stuff to actually put the mast and the sail on. Um, I probably made two hundred thousand dollars, and then I made another three hundred. So I made half a million dollars by doing it that way. All right, Bodie, come on, let's go floaty. And there she blows. I don't think we're gonna make a penny. If we make $300,000. Nope, it just resets back to normal. So, right back to where we were and the boat should sail off there it goes it's sailing off now so just double checking yep we sold as the price was going down in September for planks whereas fabric 
so we could have made more money again if you played strategically fabric we did in october or november so pretty much the worst time you could have sold fabric and i'm i had to go back to my let's play map because it has a full year's worth of price data what else did we have to sell we had to sell floor tiles uh those weren't too bad uh we sold we sold our floor tiles in september midway so we could have made a little bit more money metal um we were pretty much on par for metal planks long september not a, like i said a hundred dollar price difference that's really not worth looking at um and wood beams again so yeah i would say it was quite conceivable that had we sold at the optimal times um, depending on how your boatyard production is coming, you could make 250000 just by selling products to the boatyard versus the 300000 you make by owning the boatyard and selling the boat. And that's on easy mode. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, if you found this informative... And if you did find it informative, please give it a thumbs up. Take care and thanks for watching. Jay.